In this video, we will cover the surface finishes on drawings in SDS2 2023. Before we detail our members in the model, I want to give a refresher on that in the surface finishes setup, there is an option to add to bill of material. Just to note that if I do ever change my surface finish, it will mark this for detailing if I have it marked to include it in my bill of material. The abbreviation for the surface finish is going to be what shows up on the surface finishes column in my bill of material. Inside your fabricator options in your bill of material layout, we've added a new column here for surface finish. By default, that's not going to be set to have its own column in here, but let's go ahead and apply its own column and maybe set it to plot order 8. I'll then go and detail my beam. And when I go into my build material, you'll now see that column is enabled for surface finishes and it's called out the blue. In my surface finishes setup, I did have it set to call out the build material information on every material line. I'm going to detail another beam quick. And in this build material, the surface finish is set to PNT for painted. On my detail sheet, I'm going to update my bill of material to include the surface finish column since it was already added onto my sheet. And then I'm also going to go ahead and add in a table and this is going to include a surface finishes report on the detail sheet. Once I add on my beam as a sheet item and then I click save, then my table will populate. So I'm going to go ahead and add on those beams that I just detailed. You can see the information automatically fills out in my bill of material. You see blue and painted. Now I hit save and that report is automatically populated. This is basically the same report I utilized for the surface finishes on the material level that I showed in my tools video for that report. The only difference is that I translated this into a table report. So now I can see all the information like the piece mark, quantity, what finish it is, the abbreviation, what the prep and source, and then the total area of each of these materials right here on my detail sheets. I'm going to create a gather sheet quick. And then add a table for my gather sheet too. I'll go ahead and just add A1 on here. And hit save. Once again, it's very similar. I have the piece mark, quantity, the finish, the abbreviation, the prep and source, and the total area. 